Hey, Chuck Sharpstein here with Enlightened Marketing, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create dynamic product ads in your big commerce store. Now, this is going to allow you to retarget people who have looked at specific products on your website or your store uh, with the exact product they were looking at. You only have to set this up once, and it will dynamically retarget them with the exact product they were looking at. So, I'm logged into my big commerce store here, and from here, you want to go over to apps on the left and then click on marketplace and then from here we're going to click on search apps over here and type in Facebook ads and hit enter and what we're looking for is this Facebook ads extension here and go ahead and click on the Facebook image and then from here click on the install button and this is just telling you that it's going to request access to your big commerce store. Go ahead and confirm that. Now, once that is confirmed, uh, we're going to get started connecting to your Facebook account. Go ahead and click get started. Now, it may ask you for uh, permissions. It, your Facebook profile will pop up and it'll ask if it can connect. You just need to say okay to all this. Um, it didn't in my case because I have already done this before, but if it does ask you for specific permissions, just go ahead and click next or okay. And then when you get here, go ahead and just click next. And then from here, you're gonna choose a Facebook page. I only have one that I can choose from, so I'm just, it's only gonna allow me to choose that. Go ahead and click, choose your correct store or your correct Facebook page on Facebook and click next. And then you want to choose the correct Facebook pixel that you want installed on your site. So I only have one in this case as well. You want to choose your correct one in that corresponds to the ads account you're going to use with this store. Click next. And then adding your products to the to Facebook. So this is going to create a feed uh, that it will send the, the products that are in your store into Facebook. Um, in my case, I have 13 products from the store I'm in right now. So make sure that's right and then go ahead and click finish. And now you're ready to create ads on Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue here. And then you can go ahead and click create ad. Open an ads manager. And all this is doing is bringing you back to Facebook ads manager. If you ever need to get back here, you just need to go to Facebook and click on manage ads in Facebook like you normally do. So what what you should see down here, it, it already it already selected product catalog sales. Um, whenever you want to create dynamic product ads, you need to click, um, select product catalog sales under conversion here. Um, under product catalog, you want to make sure you're selecting the correct catalog. I have multiple catalogs in the store, so I need to collect the the correct one for for the big commerce store that I'm working in which should be this one. Uh, you probably only have one if you're just setting up big commerce for the first time. And then campaign name is gonna be whatever you want. Uh, normally I'll name it something like dynamic product ads. And then I'll say dash all products because I'm, I'm gonna retarget everyone who looked at any product in the store. Once you do that, go ahead and click continue. And now this is where we're going to choose who we want to target. So we can just leave the ad set name as is. Um, the product ad sets, you want to go ahead and select all products. I'm going to leave it set to all products. Um, unless you want to niche down into a specific category or something. Uh, but for most of you, you probably want to just leave it set to all products. Uh, under audience, normally I'll just leave it set to retarget people who viewed or added to cart but did not purchase. So this is going to retarget everybody who didn't purchase that at least looked at and or added a product to the cart within the last 14 days. I recommend leaving it here and leaving it to 14 days. You can also target people who just added to cart and there's a few other options as well that I won't get into but I recommend leaving this as is. Scroll down and leave automatic placements selected. Your daily budget uh, this is really going to be different on a store by store basis, uh, but this is probably going to be one of your best performing campaigns that you have running. So you, you 
you want to spend as much as you need to. But um, I would say at least $20 if you can. If you can't do that, at least $5. So I'm going to go ahead and just set this to $5 for right now. And then leave this set to run continuously and go ahead and click continue. And now this is where we're going to set up our actual product, our actual retargeting ads. So in this case, it's pulling in my demo store that I have running. Uh, yours will pull in your different products that you have in your store. Uh, what we really, all we really need to change is the text here. This text area is going to be the text that shows up above the images. So when you think about it, these are people that looked at your products and then could have had the intention to buy. They might have added it to the cart and then for some reason left and didn't come back. So what we generally put here is did life, oops, can't spell it today, did life get in the way? And this generally seems to work pretty well for us. So if you have no idea what to write up here, just go ahead and write that for starters and you can tweak and test different things later on. The headline here is going to be the name of your product in the store. So this tag that, that Facebook automatically puts in is going to pull in the, the uh, name, name of the products. You can also add different tags. Like if you want to add the description, you just click that check and, and click on it. It'll add it. I'm going to go ahead and take that away. I just recommend leaving the product name. If you want to add text, you can also do that. Like from my store. And it's going to add that to the end of each product name. You'll see it update here. But like I said, I just recommend leaving it as is. The newsfeed link description, uh, that's going to pull in the price. That's where you're seeing the price here. You can also, the same thing, you can add text if you want. Say on sale. And that's going to update over here. But I recommend leaving that, that as is as well. And then that's about it. Just for the call to action, uh, that's going to add a little button over here. You can change that to shop now since you want people to go back to your store and shop. And that is it. Go ahead and scroll down and click place order. And then you're going to click continue on the next page here. And that is it. You should have your ads up and running in a few minutes after Facebook approves them. So. I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. Um, if you want to find out more about what you can do with Facebook ads for your e-commerce store, we do have a webinar coming up soon. If you're on YouTube, you should see a card or a link pop up in the top right here. You can go ahead and click on that and register for the webinar. So I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. Uh, again, my name is Chuck Sharpstein with Enlightened Marketing. Take care.